So once we know what potential GDP is for the economy, we can move to a really important concept, which is the output gap. The output gap is the difference between how much we're growing and how much we should grow if we want it to be at that ideal place, okay? Now, obviously, the output gap could be positive, in order which we're growing too fast, right? We're overheating. So we can have a positive output gap for numbers greater than one. It's hard to remember what that felt like, but it does happen. Or we can have a negative output gap when we were growing slower than we would like to be, than we actually should be, if we wanted inflation and unemployment to be reasonable, okay? If we're growing too slowly, we'll say we have a negative output gap, and on the chart, it will show up as negative numbers. If we're growing right where we should be, there's no output gap. So on the chart, I'm going to show you right now, that will show up at zero, okay? So what we're going to be analyzing in this next uh, shot from the OECD, it's the difference between how much the economy's GDP is actually growing and how much it should grow if we were at that ideal place, which is potential GDP. Okay, so let's look at the US OECD screen. You can see that this is the United States over quite a long period, uh, starting in 1990. And you can see if you think of positive numbers as growing too fast, as a positive output gap, and negative output gap as negative numbers, you can see that the US economy was growing too slow for a very long period, from the early 90s to the late 90s, okay? So there's a negative output gap here. And now you can see that it moves into positive numbers about the end of the 90s and going all the way until this financial crisis. So look at that long period of a positive output gap, the economy growing faster than it actually should have and later on we'll think about this and we will realize that this was a problem, okay? And then you can see the financial crisis hits at the end of 2008 and we drop from a positive output gap to a negative output gap. We're growing too slow, it's less than potential. And this continues up into the present tab and even according to the OECD it will continue till 2014. 